Let's look at the asthmatic again. And he said, well, we've solved the problem with the asthmatic. And Buteyko said, no. Uh, modern medicine doesn't understand what asthma is. Asthma, uh, because it's not understood, we treat the symptoms. So the first thing that happens, you feel the airways tightening, so we take a bronchodilator. Now that opens the airways, it makes the patient feel pretty good, because now they can breathe more freely. But what the bronchodilator also contains is an adrenaline-based substance, which actually speeds up the metabolism, speeds up the breathing. So we started off with a problem which was due to too much breathing, and we're now adding a medication which makes the breathing even faster. This could create problems. It did. And in the 50s, when this was a prime treatment of asthma, it created such enormous problems worldwide that asthmatics were starting to die when they shouldn't do, and there was an international conference of respiratory experts to look at how can we treat asthma better. And they did come up with a solution, partially. And this was to give steroids. Now the steroids were great because, if for what reason we don't know, it tends to slow the breathing down. It also reduces inflammation of the airways, and in this way makes the asthma better controlled. However, there's always a downside. Steroids do suppress the immune system. So we have a situation where the asthmatics are taking a bronchodilator, which increases the breathing rate, which makes it worse. They're now taking steroids, which actually impair the immune system so they get more colds and flu, which is a typical, tip, a typical trigger for many asthmatics developing the symptoms of asthma, or having an asthma attack. So, if you ask any asthmatic, you'll find five years on from when they started, when they were first diagnosed, they're taking more medication, usually. Because all that is happening is the asthma is being controlled, the symptoms are being controlled and palliated with the medication. Now, if Buteyko is right, and I have no reason to think he's not, if we tackle it from the other angle and get the asthmatic to breathe less, the symptoms go away. Now, there's tens of thousands of people all over the world who actually demonstrated this, really. There has been a major trial in the major hospital in Brisbane, where a group of asthmatics were tested against the control group. The ones of the Buteyko trial group they reduced their bronchodilators by 90 odd percent and their steroids by 50 percent. The other group, most of the medications increased over the coming months. So it was a, quite a decisive trial and response. What we now look at is if it's so important, this breathing, how far does it extend into other illnesses?